Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, I literally just finished filming. It's 9.30 a.m. So it's 9.39. I'm on the phone with HelloFresh because <laughs> I don't want to go into it. But they are sending me a box when I canceled my account. So I canceled my account. I didn't actually cancel my account. I put my account on hold. Hi, Kusha. Thank you so much for facing your wedding show there. Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, um. It's almost 10 a.m. and I had to leave home at 12. I usually leave at like 11.45 because I have to be at work at 12.30 and I like to be at work a little early. I'm not really like on time, on time every time. But because it's work, I try to always be on time so it doesn't affect me. Um, but I'm just going to make something for myself really quickly. In my is still sleeping so she should be up by the time I'm done. And I already showered so I only need to take off my makeup because I obviously don't want to take this much makeup to work so i'll take that off and i'll probably see you guys when i'm like done with everything all right i'll see you <laughs> oh, oh, oh but before i go please subscribe let me close this thing i'm the one who has always been leaving all my cabinets open like i realized this literally this year i'm like you always leave them open i never close cabinets so i'm trying to do better this year but anyway please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that all right subscribe become a member of the family and hit the like button if you like some of my videos if you don't like them that's okay <laughs> uh, but i just like to be genuine i like for people to be real so like if you like it comment below if you have any questions and i hope you have a great week all right she know that I wanna be good for you She know that I wanna be good for you, I do But sometimes someone was bad for me Sometimes someone was bad, oh can't you see And I'm just being weak mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see That I'm just being me mm. Sometimes we're just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got Unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Damn, I don't wanna be mad on you No, I don't wanna be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best Baby, can't you see? Can't be there when you weak No, no, no Yes, I want you to be here for me Of course I want you to be here Don't disappear Sometimes I need you strong for me Sometimes I need you strong When I'm on my knees Oh, baby Good morning guys. Let me put some more lip balm on. But good morning guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I am about to lay my edges because I just finished doing all of that um, stuff. It's Thursday morning. I, I'm not going to work today and I'm so excited because I have a hospital appointment. I mean, I'm not like I'm not excited because I have the hospital appointment. I'm excited because I don't have to go to work because I took the day off um, at work. So I'm just gonna be going for that appointment and then coming back home. I also want to make sushi with you guys today because I've been talking about sushi. I literally have um, the sushi kit, the complete kit, sitting here. I have still haven't opened. I don't know what is inside. But we'll get into that today. Okay, my appointment is at 10. So it's currently 8, 8, 8, 8. So I have about enough time to film and to do all of the jazz that I have to do. What the, what the hell is this? Yeah, so I have enough time to do everything that I have to do. 
I really wanted to show you guys the top that I'm wearing. Yeah, it's a halter neck top. It's not a, I think it's not a halter neck top. It's a halter top because it literally halters here. <laughs> um, but I like this top so much because it is just so cute. Ignore the roll on situation. But the back is like slightly longer than the front and it holds the babies in place. If you pair this with what is that? Oh, that's a dog. <laughs> that sounds very weird. Anyway, if you pair this with like a really cute high waist pants, you can definitely make it look cute outside, you know? Um, so I said I'll show you guys because it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. So if you guys wanted to check it out, definitely. My Amazon storefront is always linked in the description for you guys every time and pretty much everything that i use or show you guys is most likely on my amazon storefront if it's not there ask me so yeah i'm gonna get into filming creating some content and comment below let me know if you guys wanna it do you guys would you guys want a video of like a full day content creation like how I do my content how I edit my videos and like what not what not because I can definitely do that for um you guys because I love editing and I love creating content so I'm gonna do that for you so let me know all right that's that's my Georgian accent that just came through yeah I'm gonna do that for you <laughs> anyway so um have a good day guys i will probably see you when i'm done creating content or when i am back from the hospital because yeah the time goes by so fast before you can see jack it will be 10 so i'm uh i'm gonna just let you guys go here and then i'll see you guys when i'm back all right hey guys hey guys don't ask me why my reef is still out because i don't know okay um, but hey guys, so I'm back home. It's a beautiful weather today. It's just like really beautiful So we decided to come out for a bit, you know in front of us. She's there. <laughs> yeah Hey ma Hey she Hey she And people are going for walks with their dogs and stuff like that, which is so cool so yeah, I'm just gonna put you guys here and then enjoy some of the good weather because why not? Let me see, where would be a good place to put you? I think here. Perfect. Okay. All right. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. The other day she was outside and I told my wife, I was like, you have to see their baby. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How did she do? <laughs> what was her name again? Infra Mama. Infra Mapa. Infra Mapa, yeah. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Hello. She's so happy to be outside, huh? Okay, guys, so <laughs> it's been a time outside and. <laughs> Um, so we're still outside like we're still taking a walk and everything which is really nice my neighbor downstairs has a dog they just got a dog I feel like my nose is dripping I'm not even gonna lie but they just got a dog and <laughs> so <laughs> I was just playing around with a dog I usually don't like other people's dogs because I'm like mm, I don't know <laughs> I don't know how this dog is going to treat me but her name is Raya she's so cute and I took a walk with her for like a quick second or whatever I'm looking for I'm looking for my tripod so that I can stand you guys on something because my camera is very bulky it's not very bulky I'm honestly not gonna say my camera is so bulky um, it's not the bulkiest camera in the world okay it's just big enough <laughs> Um, that it annoys me to carry it around 
<laughs> so I prefer having my tripod on. But anyway, I'm back home, guys. Today is going so well so far. Oh, it's just a chill day. Let me put in my microphone so the sound is definitely gonna change. Three, two, one. <laughs> so let me put you guys here, catch you guys up on what I've been up to all day. I feel like you guys did the do the day with me, so I don't know what I'm about to catch you up on. Even though it's not so cold outside, it's still, it's kind of cold. I mean, let me show you guys the dress that I wore today because it's a cute one and I don't think that you guys have seen it. So this is a dress that I wore today. We closed this door and obviously we did clean up a little so things um, look nice. But this is a dress. It's just a very simple dress, okay? But it's also very nice and flattering. It's giving rich mama, rich auntie kind of vibe. So like I have money. I can afford everything in life. But maybe I really can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wore that with these slips. And don't ask me why I'm wearing slippers during winter because they cover the front of my foot. So it's nice and warm. And I really just wanted to go in and out right but yeah i'm back home i grabbed a few things from the african store some fish re-upped on rice because this household we eat rice like fucking crazies <laughs> uh, but i'm gonna put that away cook something intermittent fasting it's just 1 13 and this is my first meal of the day starbucks coffee and then i also picked up um some um this was like a red velvet cake situation so that and that is the only thing that i've had all day but yeah i'm gonna get into putting things away cleaning up and just call it a day all right just call it a day just chill relax drink my coffee put things away and and I, I, let me just say that Starbucks coffee is the best, okay? This is literally the best out of all of them. All the drive throughs don't come for me. This is the best. All the drive throughs this is the best. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Sunday. I am going out to buy something and I'm driving, okay? Over the weekend, I am trying as much as possible to drive every weekend just so that I get my hands on because I'm a big girl. I got to drive myself around, so... I have a headache guys, like, it's so cold. What? How you learn, they never taught love You keep it peaceful and equal, I'm used to wars, love, hard love I'm used to trauma, used to drama, got a list of bad exes Plus I got a baby mama, them. Still you keep it solid, them. put that on my mama, them. Way you build me up, you probably add an extra comma, damn Accommodation, destination, running to a flight We ain't never coming back, I hope you didn't pack like God damn You should run away to a day Like a flag, cop a couple tickets, hop on the plane Back home, I feel like the lightning is bad on that side Oh, but I'm back home. I'm happy I filmed in the morning because I feel very tired and very sluggish. Even though I've eaten, initially I thought it was because I was still fasting, but I've eaten my food. And no, I still very, I still feel very tired. So I picked up a few exciting things that I want to show you, though. That makes me excited. So let me. Give me one second, let me show you what I picked up, all right? So I picked up 
some caramel water I don't know if you guys have seen this on TikTok. I also saw Chelsea Chelsea Janae. Um, she's a YouTuber here. I saw her talking about this on one of her vlogs and it's basically probiotic water. It has two billion cultures. Yes. So you guys know that probiotics is good for women and it has only 20 calories. It is pretty clean, you know, it is just water, but it has probiotics all the way at the top. So you just push the cap and then it goes inside and then it infuses the probiotics into the water and then you take that. So that's really cool, but I've never tried it before. So I'm excited to see what this is going to be given, um, but I'm going to be drinking this tomorrow. I got two of these, so I'll be drinking this tomorrow because I also picked up some celsius and i want to drink that so um I, i'm i haven't really been a fan of celsius i'm not gonna lie i've tried it like twice and every time i'm like i don't really think that this is like it's nothing like you know it's just oh i think the thing is it's nice but it has this sweet aftertaste yeah that's what it is it's like after it goes down you still have the sweet lingering in your mouth and i don't think i'm so much of a fan of that yeah i think that's what i don't like but it's generally nice it's generally okay yeah i think i take my comment back the only thing is a sweet aftertaste but it's it's nice it's okay this particular one is the sparkling orange and it's actually really good and um, it helps to accelerate your metabolism it helps to boost your energy a lot of people like to drink this as a pre-workout so yeah it has zero sugar um, 10 calories oh this is good I should I should buy a lot more Celsius I guess I guess I spoke too fast okay I take that back it's it's good it's good it bends body fat so wow I didn't know all of that I honestly didn't know all of that I just thought it was a pre-workout I honestly just thought it was a pre-workout I didn't know why it was a pre-workout I just thought it was a pre-workout but it's it's refreshing so I like it okay guys so time to unbox our sushi kit <laughs> I'm so excited to see what this looks like okay so this is the sushi kit and this is what it looks like so it has a lot of things okay I like it like I'm here for it it has pretty much everything so let's go ahead and open this I'll put you back here and let's see what we have okay so it's really compact but it has everything pretty much everything that you need oh exciting <laughs> So it has pretty much everything that you need for your sushi. Wow. Oh my goodness. Like it literally has everything. That's insane, right? Like how they were able to fit everything in here. But this is the main thing that you use to mold the sushi. So you put your rice inside this and then I mean it's gonna be a whole thing but I'm excited to see <laughs> if I'm gonna be able to make this at all and then it has some other stuff that I don't know so, yeah. so we'll see we'll see we'll see tell me these are not cute like very very cute for the sauces I love it and then the mat for the sushi and then you have the chopsticks inside here oh, 
<laughs> this is so cute. Look at this. Like, look at these chopsticks. They're so cute. Mommy, have a day. But see, it gives you everything that you need for your sushi. Pretty much everything that you need. So, I'm here for it. But I also picked up a few things for making the sushi. I picked up some sushi rice. Let me put you guys back down and show you because apparently, for whatever reason, I thought... So, for whatever reason, I thought that you could make sushi with regular rice. No. So, you have to get actual sushi rice. So, this is much more shorter grained as compared to the regular rice that we use yeah it literally says here short grain rice for sushi so this is what you want to get i'm pretty sure they have like a, a few other brands and this is apparently what you need and then i picked up some wasabi because you need some wasabi paste to go with it and one thing that i'm missing is ginger i'm also not gonna do the whole fresh fish vibe i'm doing some shrimp i'm kind of doing like a shrimp tempura i love 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 shrimp and i love shrimp tempura so i figured why not and um yeah so let me let me prep myself and you know maybe cook the rice and make myself ready and then we can get into making the sushi. I'm excited. I'm also scared because I low key don't want to mess it up, but we'll see how it goes. All right. You're always going to be placing the rice on the uh, on the rough side. So to make a basic California roll, I'm going to up my little sushi station. So I have my shrimp here, and then I have my sushi rice. So I watched every video on YouTube, so I will link all the videos for you guys because it's not like I'm a sushi pro, but I have some cucumber, I have, this is baby cucumber, and then I have some avocado, and then I have my little mat with my um, sushi board situation, you guys know what this is, and then I have some seaweed, some nori seaweed, love, love, love. So, and then I also have some cold water here so, because the video says I have some cold water. So, yeah, I am prepped. I'm ready. Let me set you guys up here so that, you know, we make some sushi. Let's see. I think that's a great angle. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna set the video Right in front of me so that I can you know watch it while I go on because Again, I'm not a pro <laughs> Since the California roll, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the uh, toasted sesame seeds right on top of the rice. Okay. And since the California roll does have the rice on the outside, 
all the ingredients that I have in there. So once it completely covers the ingredients, I'm going to gently press with my fingertips to kind of mold it and hold it all together in one spot. So if you're new to sushi, or if this is your first time making sushi rolls, I would uh, recommend just kind of lifting up the bamboo mat and just making sure that you're on target so that when you do make that rotation, that you will get a complete seal with the rice to the seaweed. And as you can see, I'm right on target. When I make that rotation, it's gonna create a spiral effect and it will hold all those ingredients in place. So again, I'm just gonna kind of tuck it and then gently press it. Now from here, the, I always wanna have the bamboo mat above the sushi roll. I never wanna have it tucked underneath as I'm rolling the sushi. So again, always having the bamboo mat on top and we use my fingertips and the bamboo mat to kind of guide the sushi roll so I can make that rotation. And from here, I just kind of keep pulling on the bamboo mat, and I'll kind of spin the sushi roll around a few times, uh, which will give you a really nice shape. So from here, I'm gonna kind of clean up the, uh, the edges of the... give me eight even pieces for the sushi roll. Again, before each cut, you always want to start out with a clean and lubricated knife. That will ensure that it's uh, easier to cut the sushi roll and your cuts are also a lot cleaner as well. Okay, after I've made uh, the, uh, the eight even pieces, and if you're to look, you can see each individual piece of the sushi roll, and you can see each ingredient inside of each piece. So you can tell we have the uh, cucumber, the avocado, and the crab meat, and it's, uh, and with the sushi, Every single piece of the sushi roll should look and taste just like the piece next to it. So you want pretty uniform pieces. You want to make sure that you get an even distribution of ingredients inside the roll as well. Okay, you guys. So this is the first attempt. And I want you guys to honestly rate this. Be honest with yourselves. Isn't this looking cute? This is kind of like a California roll, but without any meat, nothing, because my husband doesn't like shrimp. He's allergic, so he's just gonna do a veggie kind, um, kind of sushi. But let me put you guys here so I can show you because I wasn't talking throughout the video because I really wanted to concentrate because I was watching the video and then doing it at the same time. But this is what it looks like. In my opinion, next time I'm gonna make the rice more soft. You know, I'm gonna put much more water just so that the rice is like nice and soft. But like, look at how this looks like. Look at what this looks like. This is literally so cute. I'm so proud of myself. This is legit the first attempt. And it looks cute so i have cucumber avocado my rice this is a whole meal okay this is a whole meal 
and I'm so happy. I'm about to make the second batch with um, the shrimp. That's what I would be having, and I'm so happy about that because it would taste so good. I'm gonna make it look cute, okay? I'm happy that I did this one and first attempt. I'm proud of myself. Comment below. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> and also i will link the kits for you guys below because what it's it makes it so easy it also comes with the bazooka i actually did the much more difficult way this makes it a lot more easier because you just place the rice and everything and this literally just molds it for you so i might try this one for the second one mm, now that i'm thinking about it i just might do that I just might do that um but this is really cool so i'm about I, I will try this but the set or the kit in itself is amazing i'm gonna save this to my husband <laughs> i'm gonna give this my husband a gym on the really i oh my goodness so i used the bazooka and oh my goodness i used this one this time around and this is what it gave me look at how perfect that looks that is even insane like what like what are you mad like look at that look at that this looks so good oh my goodness i am so mad like it looks entirely too good look at this tell me why i did not use this the first time see that's how we learn okay that is how you learn you gotta keep doing it and then you're gonna find a perfect way to make it look good i don't even care about the lightning right now because i'm so happy like i i have to show you guys like is this even real like i don't want to drop it okay guys so this is our second batch this is what it looks like it looks entirely too cute i have no option not to sing because like i'm so happy i tried to top it up with some shrimp but i'm like you know what let's not bother i just went in with my sesame seeds and it looks perfect i love it i was gonna make another batch but i'm like you know what <laughs> it's 8 46 so no i'm not gonna do that i'll leave it till tomorrow i have some more rice i have some more shrimp leftover shrimp i have some leftover avocado so i will leave that and do it tomorrow just so that you know but i'm so happy with the second batch it looks very cute and i have my sauce here so yeah i am all set <laughs> it's so exciting but let's taste one of that okay let me show you guys this is what it looks like and it's perfect so you know initially i was saying that it's my rice i feel like my rice is not perfect no it's not my rice the bazooka definitely made my rice perfect so i see that it's not my rice because i cooked my rice with a lot of water or just the amount of water they were saying in the video and then the sushi rice so you don't just cook the rice again i'll link all the videos for you guys down below because i watched a few videos but you cook the rice and then you have to like make some um some some sort of like potion with rice vinegar and some sugar and salt and then you put that together and then you add it to your cooked already cooked rice and then you mix that in and then leave it to cool so again i'll link some videos for you guys but it's not just cooked rice you have to like make a whole situation and i didn't really want to show you guys because again i'm not an aspect here in making sushi but now that i've made it i know how to make it it was my first time so i wasn't about to flex you know like i wasn't about to act like i knew how to make it but now that i know how to make it when next i make it i might do let's make sushi you know because then i know how to make it so it's it's cute or whatever like i'm so happy so let's just dip and dab and the sauce i also got it from youtube as per usual so mm. 
Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The avocado, the shrimp, mm. the seaweed. The seaweed is so good. I've had it for a very long time. When that salmon bowl was trending on TikTok, that was when I got it. That was like last year. And so I'm like, I have seaweed, so I have to use it. Mm. 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 I hate, I'm so happy about this, but oh, this is where I bring this week's vlog to a close. This week has been so eventful. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it has been because I've been moving around a lot and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. Comment below, let me know your vibe. If you enjoyed the vlog, let me know. Also, this look is on my YouTube. There's a full um, tutorial on this look. So I'm going to link it for you guys downstairs. So if you care to know. I literally almost choked. Wow. <laughs> I almost choked on my sushi. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go here because now I'm about to choke on my sushi. So I'll see you guys in next week's vloggy vlog. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe. Always, always love. Change your last name Tell me is you with it Cause I'm with it Why Did don't you feel the same? Down, down, down.